Hi, this is a demonstration of the automated paralysis uh, patient care system. So, you know, paralysis patients, you know, are those patients who are unable to make full body movements or hand movements. And, you know, thus uh, it is not uh, easy for them to convey commands or, you know, their uh, uh, messages or anything uh, what they want to uh, doctors or medical staff or even to their house members who are not there at the scene. So, you know, we have here a system which uh, allows them to convey messages of whatever they need or even distress signals to their, uh, you know, to medical personnel around, to uh, hospital staff or to their loved ones. So what we have here is this unit. This unit is to be mounted on the patient's hand and this is the controller unit. If the patient is in the bedroom, then this will be on the patient's hand and this would be in the kitchen or wherever the, you know, the person responsible is or uh, if uh, this is used in a hospital, this would be on the patient's hand and uh, this would be uh, in the controller room or in the reception or, you know, anywhere uh, where the doctors or nurses or uh, the responsible person can see and whenever the patient uh, turns this in any particular direction it sends out a message to this controller unit so each uh, hand movement has a in each direction has a particular uh, message which is uh, displayed here wirelessly when uh, information is conveyed from this circuit to this one and as you can see we also have a GSM modern if the paralysis patient is not attended for a particular period of time he can uh, you know keep his hand movement he can keep his hand in that particular position and uh, after that uh, so if the paralysis patient is not attended for a particular period of time he can keep his hand in a certain position so that uh, the system will then uh, use this uh, GSM modem to send an SMS to the responsible person, the doctor or the admin or whoever is the higher authority so that uh, he or she can uh, take care of the issue and the patient's, uh, patient is not left unattended in any condition. So as you can see we have a microcontroller based circuit here which is interface to LCD display, uh, GSM modem and uh, a buzzer and receiver and it is powered by a 12 volt supply and on the other side on the transmitter circuit we have a gyroscope sensor along with the microcontroller and uh, the gyro is then connected to the microcontroller which is in turn uh, connected to uh, an RF uh, transmitter along with uh, a 9 volt battery for the power supply so now let's do one thing, let's turn on the system to see how it works. So the system has been turned on now and it will now wait for uh, us to call on uh, this particular number here. So the number from which we call on this number will be registered as the higher authority or the doctor number. So in case the patient is left unattended, even after sending message here, it will send message on that particular number which we register now. So now let's give a call. So as you can see, we have registered the number here. You see, we also received the message that our number has been configured into a system. So as you can see, this is the message. So now let's uh, see how the message conveyor works. So the person will be wearing it uh, on his hand here like this over this and you know it would be mounted in this way so it can mount it on a glove or something 
so you know when it tilts it in this direction as you can see the message was call attendant and uh, when it tilts it in front direction it's for I need water or back one that the patient is hungry and for this side some other problem so as you can see in all four directions we have different message configured for the patient to uh, you know uh, transmit his message here on the display unit placed outside so the you know the staff also knows what problem exactly the patient is having and you know as you can see if it is kept for uh, a short duration it just uh, you know transmit the message here and doesn't send an SMS so if the patient is left atten unattended for a long amount of time and no one is responding here we can uh, allow the patient to keep his hand tilted in one direction for a longer amount of time and when that is done it will send an SMS message too if it is uh, you know ringing for a quite longer amount of time so let's check that feature So as you can see, since the patient was not being attended, the system has now sent an SMS to the registered user about the situation so that uh, the patient will be attended. So as you can see, we have received the information about the event that occurred and this is how the system works thank you